I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Samuel Wainaina, ministering under Bishop Simon Kaniaru. Uh, today, I want us to look at uh, some words that are in the book of John 10:10, 10, 10, very familiar words. And out of uh, those words, we are going to get the sermon of today. The Bible says that the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I thank God for these words. And it is very important for us to know that the Bible is telling us that the mission of the devil is to steal and to kill and to destroy and it is very important for us to understand or to know what the devil is going to steal and what he is going to kill and what he is going to destroy i want to inform you that the devil comes to steal your heart he comes to kill your vision and he comes to destroy your destiny once your vision and your destiny are determined by the condition of your heart once your heart is stolen then forget your vision and your destiny and that is very important for us to understand that the heart is very very important and that is why today the sermon i have for you is that guard your heart therefore your heart is very very important and you should do everything to ensure that the devil does not steal your heart the bible says in proverbs 4 23 guard your heart with all diligence for out of it springs the issues of life so we are being reminded this hour that if there is something that we need to guard with all diligence it is our heart because it is out of our heart that springs out the issues of life and i have said that the devil will come and steal your heart once you a heart has been stolen then i have said that you forget your vision and you forget your destiny in other words the bible is telling us we guard our heart above all other things because it impacts a lot in our lives it is the one which is going to determine our vision it is the one which is going to determine our destiny here the bible is not talking about the physical organ of the heart but it is referring to the core of our individual our intellect, our emotions, and will. I want you to notice that the Bible does not say somebody else will guard your heart. It doesn't say that God is going to guard your heart. It is not your neighbor to guard your heart. It is not your spouse to guard your heart. But this one are your responsibility. You are supposed to to guard your heart you are in charge of guarding your own heart and that is why Matthew 5 8 says blessed are pure in heart for they shall see God as I speak to you do you want to hear from God then you are supposed to have a pure heart do you want to know God's secret you need to have a pure heart and you cannot have a pure heart if that heart you are not guarding it so you should try your level best to see to it that your heart is well guarded and i know that we normally guard those things that are very precious to us we guard people who are very very important in the society so in our body our heart become very very important and we should guard it with all means and this hour i want us to look at the significance of the heart 
And as I have said that when I'm talking about the heart, I'm not talking about the physical organ that we know, but we are talking about the core of an individual. It talks about the intellect, the emotions, and the will. And therefore, guarding our heart, number one, is that it is more important than anything else that we have. It is our treasure. And because it is our treasure, then we need to guard it with all diligence. Number two, our physical heart determines how and what your body can or cannot do. Likewise, your spiritual heart will determine what you will, what you will or what you can do spiritually and internally. Number three, it is a place to which God stands, sometimes referred to as a house where God dwells. So it is very important for us to understand that when we are talking about the heart, we are talking about that place where God dwells. And I thank God because God cannot dwell in an unclean house. So our hearts are supposed to be clean, our hearts are supposed to be pure, so that God can dwell in that heart. Number four, you are what your heart is. I thank God because Proverbs 23, verse 7, it says, For as he thinks in his heart, so he is. So the way you do things, the way you talk, we can be able to know the condition of your heart. Because if you are actually clean, if your heart is pure, then you will be talking good things. But if the heart is not in the right condition, then you'll be talking about th bad things. You'll be doing the wrong things. But when the heart is in the right condition, you'll be doing the right things. And that is why Proverbs 27 verse 19, it also says that, as in water, face reflect face, so as a man's heart reveals the man. So the way when you look at the water and you realize that that water, if it is clean, is going to reflect your face, then the man's heart is going to reveal what you are. And number five, God looks at the heart, not the external appearance. And that one we know. So it is not about how we appear, but it is how our hearts are. And that God is concerned, so much concerned about our heart. I'm not saying that we become reckless in our physical bodies, but I'm also saying that God is so much particular, so much interested with our hearts. Number six, it is out of our hearts that sin emanates. The Bible says in Matthew 15, 17 to 19, do you not yet understand that whoever, whatever enters the mouth goes to the stomach and it is eliminated? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come out, uh, come from the heart and they defile a man. For out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, theft, false witnesses, and blasphemies. The Bible here is telling us that it is out of the heart that evil thoughts comes from. And that is why I'm saying that we need to guard our heart so that in our heart we are not going to find evil thoughts. We are not going to have issues of murder. We are not going to commit adultery. We are not going to do fornication. We are not going to steal. We are not going to have false witnesses because our heart will be well guarded. And verse 7, it says that it is by believing with heart that one receives God's gracious salvation. And I thank God for this, that for us to guard our hearts, then we need to believe with our heart. And out of that, then we are going to receive God's gracious salvation. That one you can get it in Romans 10, verse 9 to 10. And it says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. I thank God because it is our hearts 
that we will believe then our mouths are going to confess and once our hearts have believed that Jesus Christ raised from the grave then we are going to be saved and this is the way to guard our hearts when you get saved God gives you peace and I have no doubt about that the moment you give your life to Jesus God makes sure that he gives you peace and it is this peace that will guard your heart so for you don't need to be worried so much so long as you are born again once you are born again and you do what is right then I can assure you your heart will be guarded by that peace and the Bible says in Philippians 4 7 and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart I want you to underline that 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 peace that you get from God once you become born again it is going to surpass all understanding and it is that peace that is going to guard your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus so as I wind up I want to remind you that our hearts are is very very important we need to uh, to, to guard that heart with all diligence because the moment we mess with our hearts the heart is going to be stolen by the devil and the devil is very cunning he will make sure that that heart is stolen and the moment it is stolen then that means that your vision and your destiny will be no more and I have said for you to be able to guard that heart all what you need to do is to believe in your heart that God raised he Jesus Christ from the dead and then you confess with your mouth the moment you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord you will be saved the moment you are saved the good thing that will happen into your life is that God will give you peace and it is this peace that is going to help you to guard your heart and the moment you do that I can assure you that it will not be able to steal your heart and therefore your heart your vision and your destiny will be intact and I can assure you God has destined you for a great destiny you have a great vision because you have uh, you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior do that and you are going to enjoy this life may God bless you may God do you well in Jesus name